<laughs> Hello and welcome to our channel. We're the Hassowells. I'm Dana. I'm Jesse. Today we're going on a road trip to the town of Young and the surrounding area in New South Wales. So come with us. Mm. so far. You probably think he's lived everywhere. And when it comes to regional New South Wales, he basically has. We've made it to Young. We have indeed. Just at Jesse's parents' place at the moment. I'm not sure if we'll get up to too much today, do the old catching up thing and all of that, but they have a little rabbit called Willow that they came by through some circumstances that <laughs> were maybe not in their control, but <laughs> it's super cute. Here she is. I don't think I've ever actually seen a rabbit in the flesh before this because they're not actually allowed in Queensland where I grew up. There's a fence to stop them coming up from down south. So cute. <laughs> He's trying to eat my sock. <laughs> Is that the cutest face you've ever seen? <laughs> she likes playing up for the camera. She sure does. We ended up going for a walk that afternoon after all, which somehow in the Christmases that we've been going to Young, I have still not managed to do. So it was really interesting for me. We spent a fair bit of time exploring the old railway station, which isn't in use anymore, but was quite old school and pretty anyway, especially in the sunset. So we timed that perfectly. There was also an old carriage by the side of the railway tracks that's obviously not in use anymore. And you could see all the grass growing through the tracks where the trains don't go anymore. We made our way down the main street, past the stately looking town hall, the strange local enterprises. Interesting ideas combining those two things. A film roll relic above a text door. Tiny little bridge. I'm a little bit scared of it to be honest. It's a little creek underneath. And local bridges, parks and plants. I like this tree. Branches look really cool. By the way, is this a cherry blossom? We're still not sure. Let us know in the comments. Then we made our way back to the house, said goodnight to Willow, and got some sleep before the next day's adventures. How's the coffee? Really good. It always is. Well done, Art. <laughs> Give it 12. So, the Wedden Mountains are about 45 minutes drive from Young over near Grenfell, little town. There they are now, we can see them from where we are. They, there's an amazing lookout, but I don't think Dana is willing to climb up to the altitude. Decisions have yet to be made, but it is also one of the stomping grounds, a famous Australian bush ranger by the name of Ben Hall, who used to hide up there in a little cave, which is, I hear, more of an indent in the wall. So mm -hmm. we're deciding whether to do the cave walk or the view walk. Well, I think because we turned off a long time ago, we have to do the Ben Hall. In. <laughs> no more discussions, we're doing it. But we're driving past all of the beautiful canola fields, which you would have seen earlier in the vlog as well, on the way to Young. This is known as the Canola Trail, and there's just lots of yellow canola flowering everywhere around here. It's quite pretty. Oh, it looks so good. It's we so picked good. a time. Oh, 
What have we got ourselves into? <laughs> Dunno. Hopefully we'll get there. <laughs> Here we go. Here's the road we're meant to be on. We're back on track. Google took us through someone's private property that clearly no one ever goes on. Yeah, we were about to get bogged. We were close. No reception too, so that would have been fun. <laughs> Luckily we turned around and thought, surely it was so well signposted back at the original turn off that there must be a real sign somewhere. So we just got back on the road we were on and yay, <laughs> it came together. We've decided the track that we were on was probably the way that Ben Hall used to get up the mountain back in the day. <laughs> now they've built a better way. <laughs> Oh, here we go, here we go. Ooh. I'm glad we brought the all-wheel drive on this adventure <laughs> and not the van. <laughs> that would have been fun. Picture a bush ranger hiding behind any of these? Yeah, this one. Yeah, there's some bugs about. Could see those bugs splattering all over Jesse's windscreen for the whole drive here. <laughs> Now that I've caught my breath from all those stairs, oh my lord. So this is Ben Hall's cave. He was part of a group of bush rangers who did a lot of robbing of places. Ben Hall himself was apparently never responsible for actually killing anyone, but a lot of his associates were. And they used to do all their pillaging and then come back up and hide out in the Weddon Mountains. And this is one of the places that they would hide out. It all ended for Ben Hall in 1865 when he was shot dead by policemen. He was ambushed while trying to escape New South Wales and get away from paying for all of his crimes. He was only 27 when he died and the police were acting under an act that was yet to come in where they were allowed to shoot any bushranger on a list on site. So there's a bit of controversy over whether he should have been killed, whether he was legally killed. But uh, by the end of 1865, all of his gang had either been shot, jailed, hanged, deported or pardoned. So 1865 was kind of the end of the era for these guys. There you go, some Australian history for you. I don't know how they lived up here though because the mozzies are huge and we're getting eaten alive. So I don't think we'll stay up here very long at all. Look at this little fella hiding over there. Can you spot him? Oh, there's another one. couldn't be bothered going store to store trying to find someone who does gluten-free in Grenfell so I just went to IGA and got a Caesar salad bowl that has the croutons bagged separately so that keeps the gluten separate. And Jesse's hamburger just arrived. With a lot. The only way. <laughs> to Peregrine Lookout. 1.5 hour return trip. I think we'll make it. I think Dana's got it in there. We just, we couldn't make the decision in the end, so we went with both. How's life? She's getting there. Long lost cousin to Ben Hall. What have we found here?
We made it to Peregrine Lookout, though it was touch and go for me for a while there. <laughs> I think Jesse filmed some footage of me dying. <laughs> There's some carnage. I don't know what it is about uphill. As soon as I start going uphill, I am gone. <laughs> but I can walk for hours on the flat. Don't if you think I'm being a sook, that's, that's what it is every time I go uphill. So if you know of a reason why that happens to me <laughs> and not to Jesse, please let me know. <laughs> Fitness levels? <laughs> <laughs> the year of the COVID, sitting on the couch here. Is it worth it, do you think? Look, it's a nice view, but I'm also not sure if anything's worth it. <laughs> but you can see all the canola fields, all the yellow over there in the background. There's quite a lot of it in this area, and it's obviously in season. Plus, with all the rain, it's so green and beautiful. It's the only reason Jesse convinced me to come up here, because mm -hmm. it's probably looking the best it's ever looked right now. Peregrine falcon? Although widespread throughout the world, they are not a common species. They are native to Australia and are rare across all states. Then that would be one, considering we're at Peregrine Lookout. I mean, he's quite a long way away, as you can see. I thought he was an aeroplane, he's that big. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? That tree line there that goes through all the paddocks, that's the way that we drove in. And then somewhere at the bottom down here, where that ends, is where we climbed from. Back down. Fun. <laughs> I should point out to always look for snakes and dangerous wildlife when you're bushwalking in Australia because they could be anywhere. If you see one, just freeze unless he's coming at you, in which case, good luck. <laughs> We're the Hasselwells. <laughs> Fly by Hasselwell. <laughs> Willow and the Battle of the Carrot. He's getting a free haircut. I need a real reason to give him so that he doesn't just think I'm lazy. I don't think you're lazy. You were <laughs> puffing like the magic dragon. It's true, I was. <laughs> he could probably hear me from the top while I was still halfway down. <laughs> <laughs>